Alright, hey guys, how's it going? This is Ryan Moore, the Young Adult Ministries Coordinator for the Assemblies of God, and we're here in Scotch Plains, New Jersey, at the Young Adults Thirst Conference. We're having a great time, and I'm here with one of our speakers, Margaret Feinberg. She's an amazing author, communicator, speaker, truly a voice for young adults, and I really appreciate her. She's one of my favorite authors, one of my favorite speakers. Margaret, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for doing this. Appreciate you. Um, why don't you just tell a little bit about who you are, what's been going on, what you do. I've been writing for 10, 15 years now. Um, I write books, and we spend a little over half of the year traveling. And so we get to see a lot of what God is doing, in, not only in churches around the country, um, but also in at colleges around the country as well. Great. And you and your husband, Leif, and this is your This is Hershey, here. our puppy. Hershey. All right. Yeah, it's you real. I know people are like, hey, it looks like a puppet, but he's real. <laughs> so I take it that you take Hershey everywhere you go. Hershey goes just about everywhere. He's part of the, we call ourselves the pack. Awesome, great. And you guys live in Colorado. We live right outside of Denver, Colorado. And um, I grew up in a lot of different places, Florida, North Carolina, and also Colorado. I met my husband up in Alaska, of all places. Wow. And um, we recently moved back to Colorado maybe three years ago. Great. Well, I have your book here, Scouting the Love Mind, it. how just the scriptures begin to come alive. And I was just wondering if you could just take a little bit of time to share a little bit about this book. I love the first line in the book where it says that the Bible truly becomes alive, not so much when it's about information, but transformation. And right when I read that first line, it got me hooked, and I wanted to read the whole thing. So can you share a little bit about this book? Absolutely. Um, I spent time with a farmer in Nebraska, a beekeeper in southern Colorado, a vintner in Napa Valley, California, and a shepherd in Oregon. And with each of these individuals, I opened up the Bible and I asked, how do you read this? Not as a theologian, but in light of what you do every day. And their answers literally changed the way that I read the Bible. Time and time again, I found myself asking, how did I grow up in the church? How have I heard hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sermons? How did I become a religious major focusing on New Testament studies and nobody has told me these things and so my time with each of these individuals it just opened up passages of scripture like never before and I found myself thinking this makes so much more sense great well thank you so much love the book you're great appreciate you can you just tell us real quick how can we get a hold of you how can we get a hold of the book Absolutely. The book is also available in a six-week Bible study, um, as several of my books are. So if it's something you want to dive more deeply into, you can watch a sample clip at www.margaretfeinberg.com. You can check out the blog. Um, follow me on Twitter at M.A. Feinberg. I love to follow back so I can hear what is going on out there. Um, and I'm also on Facebook. All right. Well, Margaret, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And we'll see you guys later. All right. Well, it's interesting because modern archaeologists have found that in the ancient plots of land in Israel, there are traces of vines growing in the backyards and the front yards of each plot, signifying that when God was using vine and wine imagery in order to communicate to his people, he was using the very plants that grew in their yards. It would be like God talking to us about the tomato plant that were growing in one of those little glass, you know, little lighted contraptions that you buy at Costco.